This summer, we're seeing some astronomical rental car prices. I mean, these are numbers we've never seen. People paying hundreds of dollars a day. This really stems from the beginning of the pandemic when the rental car industry virtually collapsed overnight. And rental car companies actually tried to shore up their finances by selling off a lot of their cars. They did that because they also realized that we don't really need these sitting around, they're just depreciating. And now that's come back to bite them because they don't have enough cars now to service all the people who want to go out and travel. I would say probably through the duration of the summer travel season, we'll be experiencing this in some capacity. Now I do think the rental car companies are quickly trying to get up to capacity and trying to service you know, the needs. The problem is that there's still a fair number of people who are going to avoid traveling by plane this summer and are gonna end up trying to hit the road and that means higher demand than usual for cars. It's really a remarkable turnaround from just about a year ago when Hertz filed for bankruptcy, for example. There was another rental car company that filed for bankruptcy. This was an industry that was on its knees. That's good for them, but it's bad for consumers because people can't necessarily afford to pay rental car companies several hundred dollars a day. New car availability is pretty limited due to the chip shortage. The pandemic caused an increase in demand in consumer electronics, and then automakers need more and more chips because cars are getting more and more computerized. Sometimes these cars are sitting on lots just basically waiting for a couple of chips before they can go out to customers. It's hard for the average consumer to get a new vehicle right now. It's also hard for the rental car companies to get new vehicles. And so this is an issue that's probably gonna take a while to work itself out.